Jeff. News Channel 8 is your local election headquarters. And three months after suspended Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren announced that he would not seek re-election today, Warren says he will be running after all. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joining us live in Tampa. So, Nicole, why the change of heart? Keith Warren didn't give any specific reason, but he did bring up his case against Governor Ron DeSantis, where he could still potentially end up being reinstated as a state attorney. Warren says he intends to be back on that ballot so voters can decide who takes that office, not a governor who Warren claims abused his power. Today, I'm running for election as state attorney. Andrew Warren now planning to run for state attorney in Hillsborough County. This Warren comes after Governor Ron DeSantis suspended Warren for refusing to uphold laws, including Florida's restrictions on abortion. I removed him from his post. He is gone. So Governor DeSantis replaced Warren with former county judge Susan Lopez. I was asked to bring this office back to basics. Then the Warren sued. And in the midst of that you long know, legal battle, months, Warren announced in January now. he would not seek re-election. Two days later, an appeals court ruled in Warren's favor, meaning he has another chance to get his job back. And that brings us to today. But our fight is not over. Warren announced he will be running for state attorney, saying he's running to protect values like a woman's right to choose and what he called a fair and just system. And in that same breath, he began attacking his future opponent. My unelected replacement was handpicked based on one qualification, her blind allegiance to Ron DeSantis. We brought that claim to Lopez, who says she's state attorney for a reason. I don't believe in, in experimenting with the laws and picking and choosing what case it, cases that, we, that, is that we prosecute in this office. We follow the law and we hold offenders accountable. Andrew Warren agreed to sit down with me in a one-on-one -on -one interview tomorrow morning. You can hear what he has to say tomorrow right here on News Channel 8. Live in Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.